Welcome to the continuing lectures on creating a blog through WordPress for your classroom. In this particular lecture, you're going to learn how to insert an image. Very often, blogs can look fairly plain if it's just text, and adding images, as you can see, sort of like the out, uh, cover of my biology book right here, adding images can just make it more interesting to read and draw the readers in and uh, it can be fun once your students are using it, if they do, to relate uh, good important points such as diagrams and uh, other aspects of their work that they may want. Inserting an image is fairly easy. You just first need to choose where you want it. You may want it um, within the text or I'm going to just put an image here in between these two paragraphs. I've just created a random welcome to biology blog post that we'll edit. And the first thing you do is you want to come up to this upload slash insert. And the first icon will, if I toggle over it, sorry about that, say add media. And that's what I want to do. So I click add media. And I have some options here. You can see I can add it from the computer. I can add it from a URL and actually just copy the, paste, copy the uh, address in there. Or maybe use a gallery if I have one. Now that's actually the image I'm going to use, but I'm going to do it in a different way. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is just hit select files. And that takes me to my pictures. This is just on my computer here. And so I'm actually going to pick this picture right here. And I can double click it. And it uploads. Once it's uploaded, I'll start to see it. And I can make some edits if I want to. I can flip it. I can turn it. I can do all sorts of things to it. One thing I want to do is I'm actually going to add a caption. The caption will actually show right under the picture. Um, and I think it's important to give your students an understanding of giving credit where credit is due and copyright. Uh, I actually got this picture off of Flickr uh, through the um, Creative Commons section. Uh, so I want to give credit to Brian Gratwicky who uh, made this picture. Now I can do some other things here. I could give a description if I want. I'm going to keep it somewhat, somewhat simple. One important thing is where do I want it placed? Um, I'm going to put it in the center for now, sorry. Um, and so it'll show in the center, but obviously you can put it to the left, you can put it to the right, or no justification, and I, I believe that'll be to the left. Uh, so let's go ahead and insert that into post just by clicking that button, and there it is. Once here, I can do uh, some changes to it if I want. I can resize it just by dragging that. Okay, um, I'm going to pull that back how it was. I can get back into the editor and change things like the location. We'll just keep that easy and update. And now I put it off to the left. You can see it takes some playing around with text to get what you want. So I'll just keep it there for now. Um, and actually, let's see if I can move it to the right see how that'll look. Click on that and update, and it moves off to the right. So I can actually do all sorts of things with this. And that looks nice right there, so I'm going to leave it right there. Uh, now, another way you can do this, I'll add uh, another picture. Oh, well, let's just make it down here. I just like adding pictures of animals. And I want to add the picture here, so I'm going to click insert or add media and this time I want to do it from a URL from the actual web address of the picture now I don't have the licensing for this but here's a cholera bacterium and what I want to do is I right click and copy the image location I could also just take the address but I'll copy the image location and I just put that in right here and I'll t sorry I'll title that cholera. Okay, and if there was a, if I had the credit, I would give the credit. I don't at this point. I can look it up later um, and put it in. Now I like the center justification for this, and I'm going to go ahead and insert it, and you can see that it popped right in. Now this is a little bit big for uh, what I want, and so I'm going to edit it again. Um, and bring it down so I can shrink the size just by using the percentages. So I'll bring it down to 60% of what it was. Update. And that's nicer, smaller 
uh, image. So you can see that adds some color, adds some flair to your uh, different blogs. And so you create ones that aren't random, and are somewhat random, but that are related to the content. And it just makes for a nicer appearance. I do have to save that. Make sure you're saving on a regular basis. And then you can preview what it looks like uh, and publish as you need to. All right, well, that's it for this one. That is editing, adding and editing an image in your WordPress blog. Thank you very much.